Okay, so the first image is of a burger on top of a wooden board. Um, there's always nooks and crannies in wood that uh, microbes can hide in and grow. And also wood is quite difficult to wash as well. You can't really put wood in a dishwasher. So uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be too keen to eat that burger. Okay, so here we've got more wood. Um, in some ways, this is even worse than the previous shot um, because the previous shot, at least the burger was on a piece of greaseproof paper. Um, here we've got salad. Now if that wood is treated at all, um, it might be okay, but if it's not treated, it is porous again. All the issues about it becoming damp, uh, encouraging the growth of, of bacteria, they transfer onto the, the lettuce and you could potentially get um, food poisoning. Okay, so next, a tin can, um, presumably to, uh, to serve a drink. Um, again, um, you have to be careful with metals because um, metals can react with certain foods and drinks, um, especially if they're acidic. Uh, you can get reactions and so you get contamination um, actually in the drink itself. Okay, okay here we have some sort of um, cloth. Um, with a bread roll inside and a stone with um, food on. It's, it's butter, right. Okay, so you've got your, your bread and butter. Now, again, the stone, if that's treated in some way, so it's not porous, it might be okay. Um, but it's gonna be difficult to put that in a dishwasher. Um, again, the bread in the, um, in the cloth container, that's probably okay the first couple of times. Bread is quite dry. Um, so in terms of contamination issues, it's not so great. Right, okay, so we've got food served on a shovel. I don't mind that though, because uh, from, again, from a food microbiologist point of view, um, the shovel is covered in foil by the looks of things. And that foil is disposable. Um, so from an environmental point of view, it's not so good because we're creating lots of waste. But from a microbiological point of view, that I would be much more comfortable with that. It's disposable um, and you're not going to get cross-contamination. Okay, so um, here we have um, some toast on a log. Um, so you can actually see the bark covering the wood on here. <laughs> so even more... Um, nooks and crannies, ideal locations for um, bugs to, to grow on. Again, you're definitely not going to be able to get that in a dishwasher. Um, and to wash that up, um, you're going to have to be really, really careful. It's going to get damp. Ah, right, okay. So we've got uh, a chicken and chips basically in a basket. Um, again, after you've served this chicken, you'd just have to throw away the basket and it seems such a real, a real shame. You're going to get food debris building up in the wicker. Again, it looks quite nice, um, but from a food hygiene point of view, too many nooks and crannies, difficult to wash up. Okay, bread in a flat cap. Okay, so this is similar to the other one that we saw with bread in, in, a, in a cloth container. Um, I mean, hopefully that cloth cap hasn't been worn before. <laughs> Again, it's got bread, it's fairly dry um, and it looks like it li it's lined with, with something disposable or washable. Um, so maybe that's not too bad. And then we've got a slate. Now I think you can get slates that are sealed, so they're sealed in some way. So they're actually a smooth surface and I think slates can also be put in a dishwasher. So as long as they're treated um, properly and they're food grade, um, I don't think slates are, are so much of a problem as, as what we've seen already. So that one's probably not too bad. I think food has got to be fun, it's got to be enjoy, enjoyed. And I think new ideas about serving food in a novel way is good. I think that's to be encouraged. And I wouldn't want to uh, um, uh, put a dampener on that, but I think you have to make sure that food is served hygienically and however you do that um, you have to think that through and make sure you're not um, putting food at risk of cross-contamination from food poisoning bugs. <laughs>